commentary number 248, we got a real racing game. <laughs> Oh, man, four's up in this motherfucker, man. But anyway, all this week, as I mentioned, we're going to be doing hipfire commentary videos. Actually, tomorrow's going to be a Call of Duty video. But after this, after the Call of Duty video, we're going to finish all, a whole bunch of these hipfire commentaries. Because as I said, I'm on a massive backlog of these motherfuckers. Now, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, I rolled out a whole bunch of video challenges. It wasn't even a challenge. I just basically said I need footage. And one of the footage requests that I had was I wanted the three racing games that were coming out. I wanted to see Drive Club. I wanted to see Forza. And I wanted to see... The crew from Ubisoft. So, so, so this is the challenge. Obviously, was it wasn't anything like you had to win the race or you had to to finish with a with a fucking Volvo or whatever. <laughs> Basically, I said I just want footage. So I said I wanted Forza Motorsport or whatever the fuck. I don't know what the hell they they released. Obviously, being an Xbox game, I have no clue what the is this. Um, that this looks like the exact same. I believe. Hmm. Doesn't this look like the the, the path from Gran Turismo? Am I not mistaken? This looks like the, the, what is that called? The Cote Azur? Do you know the one that I'm talking about? No, the, this changed. No, it's not that one. Looks similar, man. Anyway, like I was saying, I wanted to have a uh, all the racing games and shit like that. So, obviously, uh, so, at some point, we're going to get the crew later in this motherfucker, man. So, Gertner came through, and he decided he was going to do the Forza 1. He did a whole bunch of them. I think he did Assassin's Creed. He did some other shit, but whatever, man. We got some Forza up in this motherfucker. Now, obviously, not, playing, not having an Xbox, I don't have Forza. If I had an Xbox... I would play Forza. I like the look of Forza. I like the fact that it, it feels like a simulator similar to um, Gran Turismo up in this motherfucker, man. And I gotta say, it looks good. It does look like a damn good game. Now, it does get good reviews every time they roll out the game, so you gotta admit, Forza is a pretty good game. Now, the, one of the things that I worry about is it seems like this shit is being rolled out like every fucking year. <laughs> Am I not right? Are they rolling it out like every year or every other year? They have Forza and then they have the Forza Horizon shit. So I don't know what the the deal is with the, the franchise and whatever. If they have two studios that are doing it, well, I don't remember. But here's my issue. Especially when it comes to racing games. And I said this about Need for Speed. When you have racing games that come out every single year. And racing games are at their peak. Like I said, Gran Turismo was. The problem is what becomes different from year to year. What? Oh man, that lens glare is fucking irritating. Wow, that noise the shit out of me. That's some cool graphics, man. That, that's some nice effect and all, but fuck, that is irritating as shit. Now, but anyway, if you're rolling out a racing game every single year, how much of that shit is changing from year to year? And, and that, that's just the honest truth. Let's say you have a game, right? You have an excellent game. Oh, is that a, What's that? Are you in Rome? I, believe, I don't know what the fuck. That looks like Rome. That looks like the... Eh, whatever. So anyway, if you're rolling out a game, right? And you're rolling out a game every single year, and it's a top-notch game. I'm going to give you credit. Forza is a top-notch game. How do you top it if you're going to roll out a game next year? You know what I mean? It's like, if you already rolled out a great game, why am I going to go out and spend money on another game if the other one was already pretty damn good? Racing games don't change. You know, it's not like a sports game where, where people want to have the newest uniforms, the newest players, the newest team members, whatever the fuck it is. You know, you, you want to have... What the fuck, man? You are all over the road in this motherfucker. What the hell? I guess you're lucky you had a big-ass lead. What the fuck are you racing against? You have, like, a fucking... Porsche or some shit, and they're driving around a fucking Ford Pinto. <laughs> Look at that fucking lead he got out of them, man. Look at that shit. Now, wait a minute, man. So, so if your game is top-notch this year, and your game, and it's a good game like Forza is, why would you buy the following year? Like I said, it's like the sports games with FIFA and Madden and all that shit. You, all you're basically doing is just paying for, like, roster updates. So, the same thing happens with a racing game. If it's good one year... What's going to compel someone to buy it the next year? Especially if they're using the same tracks like Gran Turismo does, which is fucking irritating. So, so my issue would be, I would definitely get Forza, but I probably wouldn't buy it every single year. I just don't see a reason to buy it every single year. Especially if it's rolling out every year or every other year. Whatever the fuck they're doing, man. Looks damn good. Uh, it'd certainly be a game that I would want to play. But I just can't see myself wanting to buy this shit every fucking year. And you keep crashing it. You were good that first lap. You were perfectly fine rolling around that shit. Now you're just all fucked up. <laughs> Now, now, this is another game with points. I don't get it. Drive Club had points. This game has points. So, I assume you get points for being in first. You get points for, for not crashing, clean laps, or whatever the hell. Drive Club, I saw you got points taken off for impact. If a car impacts you, all of a sudden, oh, yeah, you got to lose points up in this month. It's some stupid shit. If a car hits me, why do I get a penalty? You know what I'm talking about? If you drive like shit and you rear end me, why did I lose 200 points in that? You know what? I ain't gonna get into that shit. I, I don't understand what the point of uh, Drive Club was. You know, each game has their own little flavor and their own little things that they do in the damn game. And that, oh god, that sun is fucking irritating now. It's cool as shit, but when you're driving, it's fucking annoying. Damn, that shit is a pain in the ass. 
Now, they get, what the fuck are all those points at the top? You get points for, for drifting? <laughs> this is like back in Need for Speed and shit. Oh, God, you remember those stupid things where they had those drift contests where you had to, like, spin a car all the way around and do donut holes and mother? Oh, God, I couldn't stand that shit. That, that was fucking irritating. I couldn't, I did not like that shit at all, man. I hated drifting. I hated drifting events with a passion. It was so fucking stupid, man. Anyway. You know, as I said, I was obviously, I'm never going to get an Xbox. Uh, it, I only have time for one console. I barely feel like I have enough time for this console, although people will point out that I have, what, seven, eight hundred hours now playing in Destiny and shit like that. You know, I get home, obviously I get maybe two or three hours online, at most, at night, at most. Usually it's more like two hours and shit like that. But on the weekends is where I get a lot of my time in, when, when I have uh, days off or whatever the hell, I have vacation time, you have holidays, you're not working and shit. Obviously then I just sit my fat ass down on the couch and I play all day. <laughs> That's why I rack up all the hours up in this motherfucker, man. No, but anyway, if, if I had the time to get an Xbox, which I don't, I don't see the need to get two consoles. This would obviously be one of the games that I always wanted to get. You know, one of the things I've always mentioned was, I, if I ever got an Xbox console, the one game that I always wanted to play on it, until it came to PlayStation 3 eventually, was Mass Effect. Mass Effect was the one game that would have made me purchase an Xbox if I couldn't get my hands on it. Now, I thought about getting it just for that one game. I was like, man, that looks good. The reviews were all good and shit like that. I believe it beat Uncharted for Game of the Year in a lot of votes, the, the, the first Uncharted, not all the ones after it. So if Mass Effect was the damn good game, I was like, hmm, maybe I should think about that shit. But then EA bought out the, the publishing rights with Bioware and whatnot, so then I knew it was like, if EA bought that shit, yeah, they are definitely bringing that shit to PlayStation. <laughs> EA is a greedy bunch of assholes. You know they're going to want to put something on every console possible, mainly because they want money. I know with all these uh, console exclusives that are coming out, obviously this is not just a console exclusive. Microsoft publishes and owns this shit. But obviously with, you know, companies wanting to buy out shit, Sony getting exclusive rights to some Destiny content for all these years, um, Xbox getting the rights to, what, what was it, uh, the Tomb Raider shit? I don't know if it's going to be a, a timed exclusive, whatever the hell it is. And then the PlayStation got the, the what, what fucking fighting? I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. They got a fighting game or whatever the hell, whatever. They got a fighting game that's supposed to be uh, an exclusive. It was on all the, the consoles before, and now it's going to be an exclusive, whatever. You know, I can't stand that shit. I can understand if you own a franchise. You know, Microsoft owns... Uh, Forza here, the PlayStation and Sony, they own the Gran Turismo franchise. You get it, you understand that. But it's when you buy for console exclusivity, it's when you buy for timed exclusive shit. I'll get the fuck out of here. I'm not buying your console just because you paid for some shit, man. You know, if you went out and decided you want to have Tomb Raider on your console, you're going to pay a million dollars hoping people are going to buy your console just to play that fucking game. No, that's not going to sway sales at all, especially a game like Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is good, but it's not like one of these must have games. I'm telling you right now. If some one of these companies were to go out and get Grand Theft Auto as an exclusive, which they'd never be able to do because obviously that shit would be expensive, then people would buy a console. But for this, nah, man, people, that was a Viper you were racing? You were racing a Viper in a foreign country? Oh, my God, they should have egged your car. <laughs> oh, man, street racing with an American car in Europe. They would have fucked your ass up as soon as you got that car, man. Anyway, there's the end of the video. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in all the videos for the rest of this week. Tomorrow will be Call of Duty, and then we're going to be picking up if our commentary after that.